Cue angels weeping, clouds parting, beams of light. And here on earth, the weeping and gnashing of teeth, because we don't have this tone on a daily basis. Greg, your restored Defender Blues Jr. is a thing of beauty, my friend. It's so good now, I had to do a voiceover. Imagine that. And on top of that, it's so good, it made me put my trim arm back into my Strat and float the damn trim, dude. This is a great sound in Blues Jr. Now, for the rest of you guys, um, th this thing was just serviced um, because it was uh, having some issues with a broken PCB and all that good stuff. But um, but it's done. Uh, here's some sound samples for you, Greg. We got the ingredients right on this puppy, buddy. So I uh, hope this finds you well. This is very loud. So it's going to clip the mic. <laughs> here in a strat. thing I neglected to mention check this out there was a failed Tolex repair and what you just saw was uh, before the big reveal but I'll go ahead and spoil it for you look at that buddy look at that looks better huh just threw that in for you happy holidays um, the only flaws right here there's a bit of a wrinkle I couldn't get that out but she looks new now. Let's see how this one came out. Get the old, pardon the old, uh, it's not a flattering look at my, <laughs> at my digits. Let's get this guy out. All right. But dude, look at that. Come on. Where else are you gonna get that at? That kind of love. All right, man. You enjoy her. Look at that. No glue runs. Just a wholesome and a good old American Tolex repair. America. Oh, America. Look at that. That's nice, buddy. Beautiful, dude. Look at that. I like it. Let me get that little nib off. I won't do that on camera. Love it. All right, one last thing. Um, I opened up this speaker cable and the guy did a good job. Whoever did this did a good job. I'm not gonna knock him, but the, uh, the, the hot uh, coming off the, um, coming off of this lead here um, is, is really close. I mean, really close to making contact with the case and ground. It's not gonna be a good good situation for anybody, so. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, painter's tape here to seal the back. What I did was I put in um, a bit of this stuff. And you can't even get this stuff anymore. 
So this is curing. It'll be done overnight, man. Tomorrow morning sometime, just, uh, or, or even never. It doesn't even matter, but aesthetically speaking, tomorrow morning, you can go ahead and take that off and uh, you'll be good to go. What it's going to do is form a removable um, rubber coating, a little a dielectric coating. I don't know if it's exactly rubber, but it'll give you some nice solid insulation so that, you know, the worst case scenario doesn't come to pass. So enjoy this amp, man. Enjoy it. Um, you'll know it's time to change these caps out when you start hearing hum in the background and it's not tube related and, you know, maybe the low end gets a little mushy, you know, you'll know it's time. So uh, take care.